on the phone with um, Congresswoman Terry Sewell from Alabama's 7th District. And I'm on the phone with Congressman David Scott from Georgia's 13th District. And they are going to be making a wager on tomorrow's UGA versus Alabama SEC championship game. So, ladies first, my my sister, you go first in the uh, what we're going to call the word on the street smack talking. Well, let me just say that I am uh, eager uh, to uh, to have this friendly wager with the chairman of agriculture. Uh, David Scott may be uh, the chairman of the agriculture committee, but uh, if I were a betting person, and I've betted on a number of these wagers since the, out, the Crimson Tide is in my, in my district, uh, since I've been in office the past decade, uh, we've had seven wagers around uh, these kinds of championship games. And I've won five out of the seven times. So I am really excited about uh, making this wager. I know that what goes around comes around, so I've got to be humble as well. <laughs> uh, well Congressman uh, Scott? Let me tell you this, uh, Terry. I, I hate to rain on your parade, but the biggest shame of all of this is this, that you – and my other uh, congressman from Alabama that will be on here, uh, I think you got my friend uh, Robert Alderhoff and, yep. uh, from Alabama. The biggest shame of all of this is this, that you all, my Alabama colleagues, will be deprived of a chance to taste my gift that I will give to you if Georgia loses, but we're not going to. <laughs> You're not going to have the world's greatest pecans. And do you know that we in Georgia produce 34% of all the pecans in the world? Well, you know, and I'll have to say... Got the peaches and 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 our pecans and peanuts and peaches are just like our Georgia Bulldogs, the best football team in the nation. <laughs> well, listen, I, I I I haven't sampled the Georgia peaches, but I look forward uh, to uh, sampling them. I can tell you that you uh, you may grow peaches and you may grow pecans in Georgia, but we grow football players. Alabama's Crimson Tide has won 18 national championship titles, uh, including the one in 2017 against the Georgia Bulldogs. And I just want to say that I will enjoy those Georgia peaches very much. And I hope uh, that I will not have to send to you Alabama's barbecue and Alabama's delectable sweet potato pies, as well as, of course, uh, other uh, homemade items from Alabama, especially the Dreamland Barbecue from Tuscaloosa. Yes, Roll Tide, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Well, well if Terry, I if I, I can just I, I'm sorry. if I yeah. can just step in here and play referee for one second, uh, our show Word on the Street would like to add to this wager if you guys don't mind. So we have an exclusive Word on the Street rum cake. Um, it's a delicious rum cake, and it can only be purchased here in Georgia at Uncle Willie Soul Food in uh, Stone Mountain. And so, if when Georgia wins. We're gonna send. We're gonna send Mr. Scott a word on the street exclusive rum cake, courtesy of uh, Congresswoman Sewell. And if by stretch of the imagination and once in a million years Alabama wins, we will send uh, Miss Sewell a exclusive word on the street um, rum cake for all courtesy of Congressman Scott. And you guys can continue what? your smack talking. I would, I would, I will enjoy that rum cake. <laughs> After all, the Crimson Tide has never lost to the Georgia Bulldogs in the Georgia Dome, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And all I have to say to all of you Georgia fans out there is second and twenty-six. Yes. That was the time uh, on the second down, 26 yards to go, that Tua passed to Devontae Smith, and we won the game for the national championship wow. in overtime. Wow. Well, you were bringing it, huh, sister? <laughs> yeah. Let me you know, my, my, daddy was a, my daddy was a high school basketball coach uh, uh, 35 years, and so I can bring some smack. Wow. <laughs> Congressman well, Scott? I will tell you this, Terry. 
and here's what you got to go by. Did you watch the Auburn, Georgia, uh, the Auburn, Alabama game? Yes. Yes. And I, yes, I watched it, and we won that game. Yeah. But In overtime, like the last time we played y'all. It took you four overtimes to do it. I mean, and 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 and, and you didn't even score a touchdown till the final two or three minutes of the whole game. Well, you know, Auburn as my dad University just caved and gave you a gift, but I will <laughs> tell you this: our Bulldogs are not going to do that. And uh, and uh, I love my Georgia Bulldogs. And you know I love my granddaughter, uh, uh, Kaylin, and she has just gotten a scholarship to the University of Georgia to study journalism. She got a scholarship into Grady uh, School of Journalism at the University of Georgia to study and prepare for a career, hopefully, in television journalism. Well, That's listen, I know that Georgia Georgia may have a very good school of journalism, but I'm here to tell you that the journalism school pales in comparison to Alabama Crimson Tide's football team <laughs> that plans to smack all over the Georgia Bulldogs come tomorrow. I'll be in the stadium, and as I said before, it'll be great for the, the legendary coach Nick Saban to have the opportunity to uh, beat once again one of his assistants. Uh, the, the, his record of beating his assistants is 24 to 1. And while Kirby Smart was smart enough to actually be schooled and learn how to coach under Nick Saban, he's going to lose tomorrow. Well, I'm on he the phone. We're, we, we, Look, Kirby Smart can't <laughs> lose when he's got the juice and Samar White, Stetson Bennett. And he's got a coach there that didn't have to go on television, didn't have to go on radio like Nick Saban did <laughs> and uh, over in Birmingham and fuss at you, fan, straighten you out. <laughs> and then came, and just a few days later, just got through Auburn University, ranked far below them in that Iron Bowl. Didn't score a touchdown in the whole game. Took them four, four overtimes, a record. And that's the team you're talking about that's going to beat my beloved Bulldogs? I don't think so. I'm on the well, phone. All I can uh, say hold is on. a win is a win. That's what my daddy said. Don't matter how you got the W, as long as you get the W. And I just also want to say, in all just, and putting aside all just, I am honored, Mr. Chairman, Chairman of the Agriculture Committee, uh, Congressman Scott, to make this wager with you. And what I've learned over the years, having won uh, – uh, you know, five national championships since I've been in Congress with the Crimson Tide is that what goes around comes around. So all I can say is Georgia is a formidable opponent, and we look forward to a great game no matter who wins tomorrow. Yeah. What goes around comes around. Congressman <laughs> Scott, as 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 the chairman and a, and a senior member of the House, so, as a senior member of the House in this conversation, Chairman Scott, we give you the last word. All right. What I want to say to you all is this. All you have to do is look at that record. Look at the team and you will see that the momentum is with the University of Georgia. And just like I told you about my granddaughter going to be a student there and and journalism next year, you know good well. And she's going to be tomorrow. The game is tomorrow. And I make sure my granddaughter got her tickets. Kayla got her tickets. She's going to be there, root for them. And she is going to make a victory for the Bulldogs. God bless those will balls, but also God bless the University of Alabama, and my extraordinary colleagues, Miss Terry Sewell and Mr. Uh, uh, 
out of home. And also, I got my buddy there, Jody Heist, who's with me. And uh, so let me say this, because I do want to take this opportunity to tell the Alabama listeners, tell the nation's listening, whoever's listening to this, what a leader and a champion for the people, all people, is Terry Sewell and Terry. I've enjoyed working with you guys for a long time. And when the University of Alabama went and the University of Georgia went, our whole nation went. Right. So our nation, regardless of which team, will win tonight. Great, uh, amen, amen. Great uh, statement. Uh, you get kind of kind of takes the fun out of smack talking when you say how great the other team is. But it's okay, Congressman. We'll let you get away with it. <laughs> we love well, you, brother. It's so true with it's so true with me, so, and I hope you can squeeze in my good word for her absolutely, because she absolutely works hard, absolutely. And especially on this voting rights act for John Lewis, she does a tremendous job and helps us over there. In terms of the Selma March, I've been there. She is just 100% uh, Terry Sue. Absolutely. Well, I've learned from the best, uh, especially wonderful uh, 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 Mr. Scott, David Scott. I sat at his feet, and he does an amazing job representing Alan, uh, representing Georgia. I guess you could say it's sort of like me sitting uh, at the feet of, of, uh, of Chairman Scott. It's sort of like how uh, Coach Scott. Smart will be sitting at the feet of Coach Saban. <laughs> there tomorrow. you go. Let's get back to the smack talking. Whoa, there you go. Right. You brought it full circle, it's my sister. Smack. <laughs> smack. <laughs> That's a good one. God bless you both. Good luck tomorrow. And go dogs. Yes, indeed. Go oh, dogs. God. <laughs> God. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Congressman <laughs> Scott. Thank you so much, Bye-bye. Have a good day, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you.